boy But recognize that you're dealing with a real McCoy Recognize, oh, y'all better kill the noise Recognize, y'all shit in Illinois Recognize, this is step up and get destroyed So recognize that you're dealing with a real McCoy yeah. What's up everybody? First of all, I want to say thank you for making 2008 great. 2009 is going to be live. You know what it is. This is the new season 2 of the American Bullet Show. Produced by one and only my man Big Bad Ons. Good night. It's going down. We want to thank you for supporting us and watching and clicking on there almost every day. It's the American Bully Show season 2. It's going down. It's your host Memo of Tommy Dog Magazine. You're watching the American Bully Show, the only TV show that brings you coverage across the nation of all the top dog shows in the American Bully world. This is the only show that's going to represent the American Bully in a positive way. You're watching the American Bully Show. Keep it bully, baby. What's up, everybody? This is your boy Memo from Atomic Dog Magazine. You're watching the American Bully Show. Today, we're coming to you from Sin City. That's right, Las Vegas, Nevada. We're having a great dog show out here today, sponsored by DL Legends and BMK Kennels. One of the sponsors of the show, my man Dag from DL Legends. How you doing today? Oh, pretty good, man. We're having a great time here in Vegas. The first bully bash out here, man. We got a better turnout than we expected. We probably over 100 people. About 15 to 20 kennels came out. We're right here with another of the premier kennels here in Las Vegas. BMK, my man Rich. Man, Vegas, I didn't know it was that hot. Yeah, man, Vegas hot, man. We the most slept on city in the nation, you know what I mean? So uh, we just put this show together in about two weeks, so we got a great turnout. So uh, expect bigger things and better things for Vegas, my man. And I'm here with another one from Las Vegas, Katai Kennels. How's your day, man? Doing good, man. Doing good. Man, tell everybody what you got going on. We have our Paco Inca Warrior female took uh, first place in 9 to 12 today. Man, congratulations, congratulations. This is 40 Glock. Let everybody know who's he off of. I mean, 40 Glock's a Remy breed. I mean, he's one of the biggest Remy breeds out here right now. I mean, I don't know what to say. 40 Glock, just listen to the name. Check him out. This is Black Marcus Kennels. We're coming to you live from Las Vegas. You're watching The American Bully Show. Up one of the best judges in the United States, my man Big Rich, ABKC. How's everything going for you today, man? It's cool, man. It's cool. It's a good time out here in Vegas. Loving it. Good atmosphere. Good, good friendly people out here. They showing us love. I seen you get grilled down and technical today. You had to choose from a lot of dogs. I was looking for angulation, confirmation, and movement, gait, how the dog moves his gait. And I was looking for the overall attitude of the dog. If the dog wanted to be in the show ring, he had to show me that he wanted to win it. You know, also, he just just because he was the prettiest dog don't mean he was the correct dog. Don't mean he was the best dog. I ran into my man, the founder of the Crossline Bloodline, my man Darrell the Dog Man. What's going down? Hey, what's going on with you, man? man? Just hanging out here in Sin City, having fun, man. Out here showing out the dogs. Took eight riddles today with the Crossline. Been up, been to my bloodline since 2001. And we're right here with one of the best rescues in Las Vegas. Introduce yourself to everybody. Hi, uh, my name is uh, Mrs. Aris Christel, president of Monsieur Pitbull Rescue. Uh, we are a non-profit uh, Pitbull Rescue here in Las Vegas. We are specializing in Pitbull Rescue. Uh, I work a lot with uh, Lead Animal Shelter and we need a lot of help right now because uh, we have a lot of Pitbulls uh, being dumped out around the, the city. You need to spay and neuter your dog, uh, don't breed because uh, the overpopulation of dogs here in Vegas is pretty bad. If you're not a legitimate breeder, please leave the breeding to the professionals. Spay and neuter your dog. I'm putting my eye on, my, on your boy that you got fully trained right here. Tell me a little bit about him. Oh yeah, this is our founder, Crocs Ultimate 7, uh, founder of Crocs Line. And also, uh, we have so far six generations off of him. And the other female that's been winning today, she's also one of the, um, our fifth generation female. So, yeah, we out here just trying to have a good time, man, like I said, man. And uh, also, just keeping the dogs trained and trying to make a better name for him, a positive image to him.
Ernest Sombrano. You're watching the best dog show on the net, American Bully Shows. Check us out on the internet at bscbulliesinsincity.com. This is a show long, long overdue. We all know that. But um, what brought you to go ahead and sponsor a show like this and get it going here in Las Vegas? Well, we were we were looking at a grassroots effort to find out how many dogs we out have out here. I mean, to find out the quality of dogs that we have in Vegas, that we have enough people in the Vegas supporting the bully movement that can actually put a dent and put competition out there on the floor for all the dogs out there. We've got a lot of good winners out here that are Vegas kennels that won on this show, a lot of first and second place winners, a lot of, a lot of good studs that are coming up in the next six or seven months. You guys got to watch out for Vegas. You're missing the right spot, plus the gambling and all the girls. You can't miss out, baby. Yeah, hey, that's what's up. Sin City. We're going to take a look how BMK raises their dogs in the home as real family members. So come on, let's go check it out. something that a lot of people don't get to see the dogs and their families interacting with each other and tell American Bully fans a, a, a little bit about BMK man well, BMK is a small kennel of about 20 members you know we keep it close in their family and close friends you know we just uh, get the get the dogs together and take them out to the park and let them get buck wild let them run around and play you know how they do I, I see you have them in your dog and your and your home is very well kept and the dogs look phenomenal I mean what other tips can you give the American bully fans on being able to keep your dogs and keep them socialized like you do oh yeah when uh well as far as uh keeping my house clean because you know dogs are a big big uh oh yeah you got to clean up after them especially when they're puppies you know they make their mistakes but as they get older uh we teach them well I teach them you know um, my kennel training I put them in the kennel uh, while I'm away for a while and then as soon as I I let them out of the kennel I take them right to the bathroom and then they'll start to realize, look, we don't use the bathroom I'm in the house. We stay in the house, we use the bathroom outside. So let's pretty much how I incorporate that. My wife loves dogs, but I don't know if I can have them in the house too long. She'd probably make me go step outside with them. How is it with you and your, and your kids and your wife? How do they put up with the dogs? Or are they just into it like you? Oh man, my wife is just as into it as I am. She'll put me out when she put the dogs out. You know, my wife, my wife, my kids love them. My kids, they're not so much looking at the game. They just love the dogs. You know, they just play with them, wrestle with them. You know, my boy, uh, I have a small boy, ten-year-old boy, wrestling with them all day. Man, it's just having a, another brother or sister here in the house, right? Somebody that play with you all day long. That's right. You're watching the American Bully Show. Keep it bully, baby. <laughs> 